The ability to understand speech is the prime function of a hearing aid. Human speech centers on frequencies between 250 Hz and 6000 Hz. By amplifying the speech frequencies and filtering out the non-speech frequencies which contain noise, speech is more understandable. Hearing aids do this by working with bands and channels. First, let's look at bands. Bands are just like stereo equalizers. They're used to control volume at different frequencies. This allows us to adjust more volume in a specific area of your hearing loss without affecting other areas where you might need less volume. Let's take an example of an audiogram from someone with severe high frequency loss. For the red line, which is the right ear, at 2000 Hz we would need to add 20 decibels of gain to get that frequency to a normal range. At 4000 Hz we would need to add 45 decibels of gain to get that frequency to a normal range. At 8000 Hz we would add 55 decibels of gain to get that frequency to a normal range. This is how hearing aid bands increase specific frequencies where you need it in the areas that you have hearing loss. Now let's take a look at channels. Channels split up the frequency range into different groups. This allows the hearing aid to differentiate noise from speech. For instance, the sound of keys falling on a table, or water running in the sink, or walking on wood floors. If these sounds are too loud, they can be overwhelming. When your hearing aid offers multiple channels, we can adjust each frequency that is too loud without sacrificing the things you want to hear, like the voice of your spouse or grandkids. For example, an aid with four channels might be set up as follows. Channel number one, 250 hertz to 750 hertz. Channel number two, 750 hertz to 1750 hertz. Channel number three, 1750 hertz to 4000 hertz. Channel number four, 4000 hertz to 8000 hertz. Within each channel, you can control the intensity or amplitude of that channel, how the hearing aid boosts soft sounds more than loud, or limit the sounds at a certain peak or threshold. Some new hearing aids can come with 24 channels or more and have a price tag of two to $3,000. And one might assume that more channels or bands will equate to better performance or more benefit. But is that actually true? Starkey, a hearing aid manufacturer, did a study involving 1,156 audiograms. Their goal was to determine how many independent channels were needed to maximize speech audibility. Their initial assumption was that a well-designed hearing aid is designed to maximize sound quality and speech understanding, and this was measured by how sharp or clear words sounded to a hearing aid wearer. The results of the study may surprise you. They found that the most significant improvement occurred within the first four channels. In other words, the greatest improvements were seen in people moving from one channel to two, two channels to three, or three channels to four. Some improvements were also seen moving from five to six channels, but it was such a small improvement that it was considered to be statistically insignificant. Beyond six channels, they were unable to show any improvement in how clear the words were at all. So if 95% of a person's hearing losses can be handled by a hearing aid with four to six channels, and there's no additional benefit from more channels, why spend more? This video was brought to you by Century Hearing Aids.